It's Linda from LA Plans, and today I will be sharing my home planner with you guys. I'm not sure if that's the official name of what I'm going to call this, but that's what we're going to call it now. This is the Erin Condren Vision Journal that came in the Spring Surprise Box. Um, it came with this interchangeable cover, if this helps make it look familiar. Um, I will leave the link below for the video of my unboxing of the Spring Surprise Box, where I go over this in detail. I think I also give a couple of other ideas on how you can use this, um, but I flip through all the pages and share uh, more details on this. Um, but I have been using this as my home decor slash project planner, um, which is why I've just been calling it my home planner. But I've loved using this. Um, I did get the Spring Surprise Box sent as a collaboration with Erin Condren, so I did actually get this, I believe in either late February or early March. I believe it was late February actually now that I think about it because that's when we got our outdoor decor when I started using this so I can kind of plan that out. But um, anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. This video is gonna be kind of segmented into two parts. So this first part is gonna be everything that I've been doing in here, how I use it, and the setup. Um, and the second part is actually gonna be um, me setting up the current two projects that I'm working on. Um, so I did record that first and I'm going back and recording this now, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. And like I mentioned, I'll leave the link below for the unboxing video and I go into details on what this comes with, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, so we're going to jump to the vision board section is what we will call it. Um, so I've been using this um, different ways based on the project. And so as I mentioned, the first project that I worked on in this in this was our outdoor patio. So I think the weekend after I received the spring surprise box was the same weekend that we ordered our new outdoor patio furniture. And so um, I instantly used this to kind of plan out all the decorations, all of the little um, decor pieces that we wanted. And so we initially started with our bistro set from Target. We had um, our rug and then we also had our dining pieces and then we needed some more lights for around our backyard and I will leave everything linked below for y'all as well if y'all want an up close look or if y'all see something that you like or want more information on like product wise I'll have all that below um everything can also be found on my blog and I'll like to know it but last year I did want the patio um love seat but it was a little too expensive when it was on sale I didn't want to spend the money for it um, and so we just waited and I was like, okay, we'll wait till next year and we'll get that whenever it goes on sale. And I think I was also waiting till the end of the summer and it never went on sale, like to a price point that I wanted. Um, but the bar cart did. So I did pick up the bar cart at the end of summer and then, or more towards the end of summer, I should say. And then this year they came out with the day bed. So it was, it's the same love seat and then it has an ottoman. So you can put them together and then it's a day bed, or as you can see in this photo, um, with my puppy that um, they, it can pull apart and then this is officially an ottoman. And so we absolutely love this set, by the way. This is an amazing set. It's really good quality and it's very comfortable. And so once we ordered the day bed, then that's kind of where I wanted to kind of switch up our outdoor patio decor. And so we had a different umbrella that never worked. It always fell down. Um, so we needed a new umbrella stand, a new umbrella. And that's where I got the idea to kind of see everything in person and so what I did was I um, printed out all of the pictures from the website so this is all I got everything at Target for our outdoor patio set so I printed out all of the photos that of things that I was interested in in Target and then I kind of just played around with where things would go how things would match and how we could like offset specific colors or just add some accent colors so I love the new teal items that they have this year so um, I saw this umbrella and I thought it was perfect and it had um, like some of the white accents. So it kind of blended with the patio set. Then they had like this pillow where it was like the white, but it had the teal and then they had the solid teal pillows. And I thought it all blended really well. Um, and so when I, so I printed out those photos and then put them in here to kind of see how it would work. And it looked amazing in here. So um, I ordered all of it once we ordered the day bed. And then once we got it, it looked amazing. And so, 
in here is kind of just like the work in progress. I did do the layout um, and these are measurements. So this is per square foot. So our patio is 10 foot by 10 foot. And so we have that in there and then I did everything by proportion. Um, and that was just for me to know that everything would fit and work out perfectly. Um, so I have that in here. I use graph paper from the Erin Condren Teacher Lesson Planner, but you can also use docket paper or you know just not to do measurements in general. But I also wanted to keep all the measurements in here just in case there was anything else that we needed while I was out, just so we could have all the measurements and important information in here as well. But that's how I kind of started using this. And then this section has um, what this vision means to me. I don't really need that for how I'm using this. And so I want to use this spot for the final project so you can see like the vision and then it come to life. And so I just have the final setup here. Um, down here, I just have two by and that's just a list of everything that we have in here. Um, we have the measurement. So this is the 10 by 10. And then I just wrote down the color scheme. Um, and I try to use the terms that will be easily searchable again. So on Target's website, they called this teal, they called this linen, and then they call it the wicker, um, either natural or wicker. And so that way it's easy if like there's something new that I want to grab, um, we can do that, but I also have the color scheme down. Um, but that's how this all started and I really like it and it's really been helpful. And so when I went to get this new desk that I'm currently using, the L-shaped desk, I wanted to do the exact same thing again. And so I believe this was May, late March, early April when this new desk came out. And so I mapped out my um, office and again, it's by per square foot so I can measure where everything would go. And then I pasted it in here. And so I just grabbed some of the main pieces cause I have a lot of different decor and pieces in here. Um, so I have my um, planner cards in here and what I was using them. Um, I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do with my old desk. And so I decided to turn that into a vanity. So I needed to grab a new mirror. Um, so I put all that in there. Um, I have my garment rack and then um, I just kind of put different like elements of my office in here just again to see how everything would look. Initially I was going to do a gold mirror and then after I was kind of playing around with everything um, I wanted to do gold because I had my gold like accent carts. I have like gold decor pieces everywhere um, but actually after playing with this it, it looked like it would be a lot better if I used the black mirror to go with the legs and the black cart as opposed to a gold mirror. So this has also helped me with purchasing decisions too. So that's how I use this. Um, I haven't printed out my photo for this yet. I honestly haven't touched it. I went straight to um, the new items that we have going on. Um, but on here I did the exact same thing. So it's everything in the office. I did the layout, so I have our measurements in here, um, the colors, and then I have one for accent colors um, just to make it easier. But this is everything on how I envisioned my office and the setup and I just need to add a photo in here. But this is the portion for the office. And then we have the two new items that we are currently working on, which is why there's a bookmark and that I um, will be setting up with y'all in the second part of this video. So I just added these because these are the two new ones that we're working on. So this week we bought a new sectional, which I'm so happy about. I can't wait for it to come in. It, I think it should be, ho hopefully it's gonna be here next week. Um, but we have the new sectional and then we also found new dining room chairs. And so that sparked two ongoing projects, which is why using this was very helpful and important for me. Um, so after we purchased the sectional and the chairs, I wanted to get all of this together, do some measurements and figure out how else we're gonna redecorate. Um, I pretty much wanna redecorate our entire downstairs. And so um, this was really important to have in here to really help me map out and see everything visually which is my favorite part about using this. And so I printed out the sectional and I just made it large so I can see the colors. Um, I printed out kind of like, this is the actual color so I can compare this to. I've been taking this with me shopping. So when I do go look at stuff or I do um, think of like a different accent piece, like if I'm going to Target, then I'm gonna, then I do take this with. Um, but on here, we have um, measurements. So this is a planner card from Cloth and Paper that I put in here. And so I just have the measurements of the actual sectional because I was looking for a um, rug to put in here. So I wanted the measurements to make sure that it would look good. Um, and I also need some wall decor behind it. So I needed that measurement as well for when I go shopping. So I keep this in here. 
and this will help reference everything that I need. And then I have this in here. These are the patterns. So this section all comes with these pillows. I'm not a fan of the larger ones, so we did get new ones at Target, so I have that in here as well. And then I do like the leopard ones, so we're probably going to keep those on there based on how it looks with everything. Um, so I do have that leopard design here, and I just, these were, these were on the sectional website, so I could download them and print them out. But that way I can have the scheme of how they actually look with different items that we're going to purchase. And so we're going to completely update the living room, and so I want to make sure that I have these color schemes here. And so I'm keeping the accent pillows because I like the leopard. I'm keeping these accent pillows because I like the leopard, but I also think it'll really blend the couch with like the black furniture. So we have a black coffee table. And then I just purchased this ladder after using this journal. And then yesterday I actually bought the accent rug from Target with the tray and then um, this water pitcher that we're using as a vase um, that I will share. But this has really helped when it comes to making sure everything matches and kind of getting all my thoughts out on the page and what I want to do. But um, we're still looking for the wall decor. So whenever I do finally go shop for wall decor, then I'll take this with or I'll just grab this if I'm online shopping. Um, but I have all the measurements and everything I need to really create my vision. And that's one thing that I absolutely love about this. So on here, I just have the current pieces that we want to put in here. And so I just purchased the rug yesterday. Um, so now all we need is the wall decor and I'll use this whenever I go and look for it. I haven't seen anything so far, but um, I have the measurements down if I need it and the color scheme so I can kind of visualize and see how everything will look together. Um, but this is the current vision and what's going on for the living room. And then for the dining room, as I mentioned, when we were out shopping for the sectional, we found these chairs. And I love these chairs. I've been looking for these chairs all over the place and we got a really good deal. And so that sparked redecorating the dining room as we're redecorating the living room. Um, the same night we ordered this table off Wayfair because it's the perfect table. We absolutely love it. We both love simple and I really like the farmhouse style and I think this will go really well together. And so we chose this dining table and wanted a darker one because it matched the top of our coffee bar. And although it doesn't look like it in this photo, these are pretty similar in colors. So this color of the chairs is actually pretty similar to this color of the coffee bar. And so we didn't want to do a light table because that would have been probably too light with all of the white chairs because it's um, it's six chairs. So it does take out a lot. The walls are white. We rent. We're not going to paint. Um, so we did want a dark table and plus a dark table, I think just looks nicer as well. Um, and, but we found the perfect table on White Bear. And so we grabbed that and then I grabbed a table runner. I don't like tablecloths and neither does my boyfriend. Um, I mainly just stick with table runners. I found this at Target. Um, and again, it's that same color. So it kind of will pop. Um, and then we have this tray that I use to have all of my butter and salt and pepper and different things on. Um, but I just love this current setup. We are still looking for wall decor and decor. I have, I'm really bad with wall decor, which is another reason why I need this. Um, but we're looking for wall decor and decor. I need to grab the measurements of the wall area that we kind of need to cover. Um, but I just want to keep any measurements I think might be necessary in here. Um, and then I just need to add the wall area to cover measurements. So if I find a photo or a bookshelf or something, I really don't know what we're going to do over there. Um, but you know, once, if something does, if I do see something, um, or get an idea while I'm out or looking for something, I can have those measurements on me. Um, but yeah, that's how I've been using this. I really, really love using this um, for my home projects. Um, there's a lot of blank spaces in the back. So if you wanna map something out, you can do that in here. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is there's some blank pages in here too, is maybe during um, holidays to print out different like holiday decor. So if I really like something, we can redo it the next year. Um, I also collect Starbucks mugs and I wanna keep that list in here. Um, I'm just using this for all of my home projects. We are doing a comic book shelf, but I do wanna use this for um, holiday decorations as well, as well as to kind of save some of the decorations that we do. I love decorating and I do like that I can use this to remember and use this for like all of the past decor. Um, I need to get a photo printer and print out some old photos that I have because right now everything's just on my blog. Um, but I do want to have a spot where I can like look back and see that and just 
draw inspiration from other things that I've done. And that way it'll also help too if I want to switch things up. I can remember what worked and what didn't work and having like a designated spot for that is really nice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I use this and how I plan to use this. There's nothing really else in here, I don't believe, um, but there's plenty of room for more projects and to do different things. But if y'all want more content on this, um, of course I'll share like photos and different things on Instagram. Um, but I will, when I go and do like these back pages, I can do another video if y'all are interested, just let me know. Um, but I do think I'm going to go back and use these blank pages for maybe like decor from last year, um, like our holiday decor, like our fall decor, our Christmas decor, different bar cart designs, different things like that. But yeah, other than that, the next part will be part two, and that will be how I set up this page and this page.